So uh, first of all, like always, I want to thank you guys uh, for coming out and, and covering Penn State football. Uh, we don't take that for granted. Thought we had a really good crowd. I'm not, I'm not sure what the numbers were like, um, but I thought it was a really good crowd. Um, weather held up really good for us. That was really the first time for us to get in Beaver Stadium this spring, which is unusual. We usually get in at least three times uh, you know, in five weeks throughout the spring ball calendar. Um, and I thought for the most part, our guys handled it well. Um, overall, it's, it's hard for me to say uh, until I watch the tape. I'm trying to kind of, it's, it's different when you're watching one team. I'm trying to watch both teams and kind of manage it all in my mind. But I did think we had too many pre-snap penalties on offense. Um, you know, I know it wasn't extremely loud, but we hadn't done any noise during spring ball. And I think some of the young players got affected by that. So on the offensive line, we had, we had too many of those. Um, I think Amin Vanover is a pretty cool story for us. Uh, I think he's going to have a huge year for us. Um, and he's a guy, in my opinion, that's done it the right way. Uh, it hasn't always been easy for him or us. Uh, his journey has been challenging at times. And he's, he's really stuck it out, you know, and just gotten better and better and better and better. I think he's going to have a really big year. I'm really proud of Amin. Um, I thought Jameel Lyons flashed today. I thought Jameel Lyons flashed today. I think he's got a, a guy that's got a bright future. You guys saw some examples of that last year. I think we'll cont continue to see that. Um, I thought we had 15 really physical competitive practices. I thought today was good. Got a lot of work in, got a bunch of situations covered. At the end of the game there, you, you guys don't know this, but we're talking on the headset. We're saying, okay, let's treat this two-minute situation like we need a field goal to win the game, or let's treat this two-minute situation like we need a touchdown to win the game. So we were operating. I called a timeout, which I think was probably confusing. Um, when the offense was on maybe like the seven-yard line coming out in a two-minute situation, that was actually a timeout for the defense which confused uh, the quarterbacks because uh, the board was still showing two timeouts. Um, but I thought it was really good. It was a physical 15 practice. We were able to stay healthy today, uh, which I thought was really good. A couple other notes that we kind of wrote down. I want to make sure that I cover with you. Didn't think we started fast enough on offense. Again, we start the game with a, a true freshman offensive lineman jumping off sides. Um, we got to start better on offense so we're able to get into a rhythm and get ahead of the sticks. We were able to use the iPads today for the first time. Um, wasn't perfect, but there's value in getting some reps of that in Beaver Stadium before the season. We'll do the same thing during training camp. We had the headset technology. Um, all spring, not what we'll have for next year because we only had one on defense and two on offense is how we chose to use the three units that we got. But I thought that was valuable today. Had some issues with glare on the screen, so we're going to have to look at how we can adjust those things. Um, too many third and longs, like I said, we got off schedule. But overall, I thought really good. You know, I thought really good. Uh, and I was pleased with how our spring we laid a foundation to go into summer camp with really good competition. And really, next on the schedules, all the players will meet with their position coaches Monday, all day Monday, all day Tuesday, and then half of the day on Wednesday. Then the coaches will hit the road and travel Wednesday night to go recruit. I'll start my uh, meetings once they're done, their meetings with their coaches. I'll meet with every player on the roster. It usually takes me about three weeks to knock that out half hour uh, per player. Uh, and that will be valuable as well. As we know with what's going on with college football, this could be an interesting couple weeks uh, for, for everybody in college football. Uh, we just had a discussion about that in the locker room as well. Um, but I'm pleased. I'm pleased with where we're at. We do got some work to do, obviously, between now and summer camp uh, and West Virginia. But I like the foundation that we laid this spring.